Hey everyone, I was planning on doing an unboxing for the Quark Shock Wiz when it arrived. However, in true Kickstarter fashion, uh, it does not have a box yet. So rather than doing an in unbagging, which wouldn't be terribly interesting, I figured I'd just show you what was inside the, uh, the bag. Um, so there is the Shock Wiz itself. You can see it's blinking occasionally since I just moved it, and it does seem to have an accelerometer to tell it when to turn on. It's fairly symmetric, except if you look, you can see that the two sides here are a little asymmetric. So the left side there has a bit of an angle to the airport, and the right side does not. And if you look from the top here as well, you can see the angles are slightly different as well. Um, so that should help with mounting. It has a rubber boot with a number of holes here and a slight arch in it, as you can see, to better fit around a shock body. Um, it's surprisingly hard to get on, but uh, I think once you get the hang of it, it won't be too bad. A couple different tubes. There's a right angle uh, and then straight tube that's a little longer. Seems like it'd be good for forks. And then a shorter tube with two right angles for shocks. The all-important sticker for very long zip ties for mounting. And then a nice letter from uh, SRAM and the ShockWiz team uh, saying how to use it, that they want some feedback, and to go ride. So that's my plan.